American Council on Science and Health. I'm Anna Samovska with your Friday Medical Wrap. In case you needed another reason to work out, here's some good news for your blood pressure. According to an American Heart Association scientific statement, engaging in cardio and resistance training programs can be an alternative therapy for treating hypertension. This comes after about 1,000 observational studies. AXA's Dr. Gilbert Ross says, it's important that people really pay attention to the emphasis they put on these exercise therapies being used in addition to medical or nutrition therapy. People should not see this statement as a way to justify ceasing to take their medications. In the controversial world of vaccines, researchers are now working on a new vaccine which could control symptoms of autism. Researchers at Ontario's University of Guelph say it's a carbohydrate-based shot, a bacterium which plays a role in gastrointestinal disorders associated with autism. But the vaccine will have no direct effect on behavioral aspects and it's not meant to reverse the disease. Although last year's move in California to require the labeling of genetically engineered foods went down in defeat, the issue isn't dead yet. Some senators have introduced legislation that would require the FDA to mandate labeling of all genetically engineered foods and those made from GE ingredients. Proponents of these labeling laws paint them as being based on consumers' right to know what's in their foods. Here's some perspective from Aksha's Dr. Ruth Kava. Hopefully, the bill introduced in the Senate will not be passed, and the FDA will be able to maintain its science-based stance on labeling GE foods and ingredients. In women's health, researchers say women just aren't getting the message about the controversial guidelines that say women over 50 should not get regular mammograms. A study published by the journal Cancer says women still opt out to get yearly mammograms. Dr. Michael Lafarve, one of the people who made that recommendation says he's not surprised. It would be optimistic to think the lack of change reflects the decision by many women in their 40s to go ahead and proceed with mammography with a clear understanding of the benefits as well as risks. And there's more news about the fight against smoking. The Dow Jones News Wires now report that e-cigarettes are soaring in popularity, weakening the sales of actual cigarettes. Shiz Dr. Gilbert Ross says this is great news, but he questions why federal agencies and public health organizations like the CDC, NIH, and FDA have not commented on the trend. And for the full stories, go ahead and head to our website, hsdispatch.com. That's the latest from the American Council on Science and Health.